In today's video, I'm going to show you five different ways to style text with WordPress and Divi. Number one, add drop caps. Drop caps or initial caps are often used to great effect in printed magazines and newspapers, and they're very straightforward to implement in WordPress. There are plenty of plugins that automatically add a drop cap to your first paragraph, but I like to have a little bit more control. Did you know that all the products from Elegant Themes have a built-in drop cap shortcode? Even better, it's really easy to style with CSS using the ET-DropCap class. To use it, simply put the drop cap shortcode around the capital letter. If you want to style the ET drop cap differently from the standard version, go to theme options, general, and paste this code in the Divi custom CSS box. This code will allow you to change the font size, line height, font family, and also the color. I'll link a post in the description where you can easily copy this code. Number two, mix and match text styles in a module. When it comes to mixing and matching fonts in a single text module, you have it easy. You don't need to install a plugin or any external files. All you have to do is click into the text box and a menu will pop up. From here, you can adjust the style, formatting, and even the font family of any characters you choose. Number three, the Divi testimonial module. The testimonial module is perfect for creating attractive callouts on your page. And if you add a background image and an offset key line border, your content will really stand out. To add the border, go to the design tab of the module settings and make your selections. If you want a background image, you can set that under the content tab. Number four, full width text blocks. Adding full width text blocks can give your website a really sleek and modern feel. For this example, we just need a row with two columns and a text box in each column. In the row settings, you'll need to make the row full width, set the custom gutter width to one, and turn on equalize column heights. Depending on your color choices, you may need to add in some custom padding in the spacing section. Once all that's done, add your text and have fun playing with font styles and sizes. Number five, the Divi Toggle Module. The Divi Toggle Module is a handy tool when it comes to handling sections of your website that can be a little dull, such as FAQs. First, add a new section and choose the one third and two third column layout. Add an image module to the one third column. Then add all the toggles you need into the two third column and style the text and background color in the design tab of each module. Personally, I think the alternating text and background colors look really nice. Getting creative with text doesn't mean you need to stick to text modules. Not only can you use the testimonial and toggle modules, but you can also more attractively display your content with the call to action, blurb, and accordion modules as well. Implementing some of these ideas may just save you from design boredom and your readers from a wall of text with your next project. If this video helped you out in any way, then hit that like button and subscribe. With that said, I'll see you next time.